Hello all, welcome to the second tutorial on Arduino Mates Android. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a speech recognition app that is going to send command to my Arduino. In this app, we are not going to create uh, any speech recognition software like that. We are going to use the inbuilt inbuilt uh, Google app that is already a speech recognition is already available in the Google search engine. So we are going to use that speech recognition engine and we are going to use that and uh, change our uh, speech to text command and then we will send the text command to our Arduino. So for this uh, I'm going to create a new project name it as speech and click OK. So whatever we did in the previous the same thing we are going to repeat here. So First, we are going to use a list picker and then I'm going to change the width to build parent and change the text to Bluetooth. Okay, we have changed that and then uh, we need a label. This label is going to say whether our device is connected to the Bluetooth or not. Then change the width to build parent. And delete the text make the text element to center okay so again uh, we need only one button for this so I'm gonna use a layout uh, this time we'll use a table layout and for this you say we need a uh, three columns and three rows now we'll go for a okay we'll go for three rows and three columns and Change the height to fill parent and with row fill parent. That's it. And I need a button. So whenever I click this button, and it's in the middle, we will change the width to fill parent. Okay. So whenever I click this button, and uh, this will evoke the speech recognition engine. So once the speech recognition started, I have to input my voice command so that my voice will be recognized and that speech will be uh, changed to the text and then the text will send to my Bluetooth device. So that's it. Speak something. I'm going to type it as speak something. Speak something. Okay. We are completed and we need a Bluetooth connect client. Then we need a sensor. So it's a sensor clock and one more thing is our speech organization go to media pick the speech organization pick the speech organizer and place it here so we almost completed our screen go to blocks and what are the things we repeated in the last we are going to repeat the same so before picking and then go to Set list picker. So I'll uh, show you one thing. So you just go to the previous project that we have created in the first step. Go to hello world. You know, just pick this and place to the back. So what are the steps you're going to repeat in this is going to be placed in the bags. So see here, this bag will contain all the codes that you're going to use. So yeah. These three things we are going to use in the second project. So go there first. Sorry, we have to go then go to the speech. So here I'm gonna delete this one. I don't need it. So if I open the bag, see the contents all thing. I can take it and place here. Yeah, I got everything. Then we have we have placed we actually copied these codes from our previous app. So we'll move on to our main function. So when I click this button, what it should do is it should call this speech recognizer. And where is the speech recognizer? It should call the speech recognizer and get text. Okay. So what it should do before getting text that we have to assign. What it should do before getting text. 
it should you know we also add a here we also add a label so that we know what are the what are the command that we are giving because um, so that will be helpful for us yeah then change the way to field parent then delete the text yeah actually uh, this will help us to know what are the commands that we are that is uh, converting from our speech to text that will be stored in the label here okay so what it should do before getting the text it should clear that label first so what are the, if it is stored with our previous text it should clear the label so set label change this to text so yeah change the text to empty string so this will make us to clear that label and what it should do after getting the uh, that is converting our speech to text it should send that speech to our bluetooth device after getting the text set my label to so here you can clearly see now uh, bluetooth uh, to send a text so what text it should send after the whatever the result that we are the speech recognizer converting from our speech to text that result needs to be sent to my bluetooth client so where this we can get it from the result so yeah duplicate again boom yeah over our project is over now let's test it in our hardware so whatever we have connected previously so here you can see that's the same setup we are going to use and this uh, once you created this app it's enough for you to use uh, a, for in plenty of projects like if you want to uh, go for a, a speech organization robot whatever you want just go ahead and do it even if you want to create a home automation just with this simple take uh, simple app you can do everything because the, the app part is over all the things that you need to change only on the art uh, Arduino side so the same thing we are going to use for this app and we slightly change some things here so I'm gonna change it as turn off and this to turn on let's see how it works I'm not sure how it's going to work at the end turn off okay this is the command uh, I'm going to uh, say it my speech organization window once it uh, convert my speech to text it will send this command to my Arduino if the command matches then uh, my LED will turn on and off based upon this command so that's it I'm going to upload this program to my Arduino here my cam window you can see Here we are connected and I'm going to upload my program so in combo 3 uh, everything is selected perfect I'm going to upload the program so in the meantime I'm going to connect this app to my Android so you can save this app and send as an email to your Android device and then install on your Android device I'm going to use the AI2 companion so that I can connect my app and test it. Connect through AI companion and I have to input the same characters to my AI companion that I've installed on my Arduino, sorry, Android mobile. ZTA hatch 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 connect. So if you want to use this AI companion to your Android phone, you have to install that app first. You can get it on the Play, Play Store for free. So I've connected my app and let's open my serial monitor. So before that, I have to check uh, connect with my Bluetooth device. So I'm going to connect to my Bluetooth device. So 
So I connected my Bluetooth device. So I'm going to speak something to my app. So you can see on the serial monitor, whatever I speak, this will be here. You can see here. Let's, I'm going to speak something. Turn on. Turn on. Okay, yeah, you can see that I have sent turn on, but nothing has happened in my. So the reason you see here, it is cap sense two. I would send turn on here. You can see the T is not capitalized, but here the command that I have given is T here. So it should perfectly match whatever the command that you are sending from your blue uh, Android phone should perfectly match to this. So what I'm going to do is going to turn it. We'll change this to turn off again. So again, once again, I'm going to program this. Yeah, let's upload it. I'm going to once again send my command. Turn on. Turn on. Ah, it takes long time. So you have to be very careful because this app highly depend on your internet connectivity. Turn on. Okay, here you can see that I have sent a turn on command and my uh, LED is turned on. So I'm going to again send turn off from my app. Turn off. Yeah, here you can see that I have sent turn off so that my LED turned off. Oh, let me check other because I'm using a tablet for checking my Android app, so that's a reason I cannot uh, show it on my cam window. Let me once again check whether I can do it this time. Once I connect it. What's in my background? So here, when I just press speak something, I press speak something, turn on. Oh, it's there. Okay, turn on. Turn on. You can see that LED is turned on. Turn off. Turn off. Yeah. So I'm not uh, having any good luck with my internet connectivity. That's the reason it's taking a lot of time to, you know, trans uh, convert my speech to text or my English is too bad. So that may be also another reason for uh, you know my app to uh, recognize my voice. So so thanks for watching this tutorial. Have a nice day.